Hi, I'm Brad, and this is Getting Dressed with Brad, men's fashion with an alternative twist. This is about genderless fashion. Clothes should not be a defining gender in any which way, I believe, and I think there's a few people out there that do as well. So this isn't about toxic masculinity. This isn't about feminizing men and all those sort of things. So I really appreciate your support and your comments. Thanks for watching, and let's get dressed. Today, I'll be wearing a chunky knit roll neck turtleneck sweater. I'll be wearing this rather cool retro style skirt. It's quite thin, and uh, yeah, I think it looks quite nice. Again, from an option. So uh, a bit of a bargain, I think it was about $5 or something. So yeah, this is what I'll be wearing today. And also I just wanted to say, what do I wear under skirts? And I think that's uh, been a question a few people have said. Do I wear women's underwear? Uh, what sort of pants do I wear or underwear or whatever it is, jocks, whatever. And yeah, so I don't wear women's underwear. So just want to rule that one out now. As I say, I'm not trying to be a woman. Uh, I'm not cross-dressing in any which way. So this isn't about feminizing my feelings towards the clothing at all. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, look, if there's people that want to cross-dress and wear women's underwear and skirts and makeup and all that sort of stuff, that's okay, obviously. But I will show you what I wear because, as I say, there's been a few videos now and there's been people saying, what do you wear underneath? Uh, so here we go. So we've got these which are compression shorts, which are men's compression shorts. And, uh, you know, we're built differently to women. So we have to try and hide our modesty. Uh, and, uh, and then I've got these shorts as well, which, sorry, tangling up in my new microphone wire. Uh, and these are just shorts from Kmart. They're actually women's sports shorts, which uh, they're, they're pretty comfortable, pretty tight. So it just really depends depends on the type of skirt and material you're wearing as to sort of how much your kind of bulge is exposed, let's say that, because as I say, we're all built differently and uh, you know, we have to, I think, I think look, from a fashion point of view, it's, we should calm our bulge slightly and just make it a bit more streamlined. Just because skirts are cut differently uh, for women and uh, when you're a man wearing a skirt, it's a bit different. So I feel more comfortable with restricting and keeping the flow of the skirt in that sort of way, but it, I'm not in any pain in any which way. It's not cutting off the blood flow. It's just, you know, easing the style of it a little bit more and um, I think making it more streamlined. Yeah, that's it. So that's what I wear. These kind of tight shorts and compression shorts. I hope that answers the questions. Let's get on with the rest of the outfit. And for footwear, you guessed it, Adrian Loafers by Dr. Martins. Let's get dressed. And here I am dressed. I think it's a pretty cool vibe, uh, just above the knee, uh, not revealing too much of the leg, but I've got compression shorts underneath. Uh, we've got the classic Dr. Martin loafers, always cool with uh, pulled up black socks, trying to look a bit stylish. Uh, and this chunky um, roll neck, turtleneck sweater, which is like super warm under this light, but great for winter, which it is in Australia at the moment. So I just want to say thanks again for all the comments, all the follows, all the subscribes as well. We're on YouTube, growing that channel. It's a bit of a slow one to start off with, to be honest, but that's YouTube for you. Who knows where that algorithm takes you but ultimately TikTok and Instagram have been really cool and lots of engagement there which is uh, fantastic so if you haven't checked out YouTube go there as well similar content might be a bit longer form uh, but we'll see how that goes but yeah so breaking the matrix one skirt at a time it's about male confidence about confidence in everyone actually and, and not really giving a fuck about other people's opinions ultimately you know whether you're straight like myself or queer gay wherever you're on the LGBTQI plus spectrum Let's be true to ourselves, uh, not care about other people's opinions and have the confidence to be the people that, that we deserve to be and, and make sure that we're uh, being kind to ourselves. That way we can be of better value and of a higher value and a high frequency to other people. And that's what counts. And if we're all doing that, that good news and that good vibration will spread and we'll be able to share the love and just be kind to people and uh, not actually ask what people can do for us, but what we can actually do and give to others, which will bring the community together regardless of your gender. Uh, but this is about skirt fashion and about kindness, gratitude, confidence, and breaking this social matrix. I'm Brad, this is Getting Dressed with Brad. Thanks for watching.